As a leading brand of airless sprayers, we are confident you will find your airless sprayer easy to use, easy to clean and easy to maintain. Your new Qtex sprayer is much more than just an airless sprayer. It's really a paint application system which allows you to not only spray but to use a pressure fed roller system as well. If you haven't had a chance to use one of our Qtex sprayers before, don't worry. That's really the purpose of this short video. There are some essential tools and accessories that come with all Qtex sprayers. Each model comes with a full safety instruction manual, a Tritec T360 high pressure airless spray gun, which comes with a 517 spray tip, spray guard, and an inline pencil filter, a 15 meter 50 foot high pressure textile airless paint hose, two 19 mil open end spanners, a packing and filter wrench, a spare 60 mesh manifold easy out filter, a bottle of Q-Tech piston lube. Also, don't forget to purchase a bottle of Q-Tech to pump conditioner, which ensures your pump is properly protected when not in use and stored. Now let's take a look at the basic components of Q-Tech airless sprayers. No matter which Q-Tech sprayer you have purchased, whether it's the QP021, the QP025, the QP031, or the QP036, the basic components are very similar. Firstly, we recommend that you spend some time reading the safety instruction manual that comes with every Q-Tech airless sprayer. Depending on the electrical voltage of the sprayer you have purchased, whether 110 volts or 240 volt, check that you have the correct electricity supply. You will need to know where the on-off power switch is located. Another important component of the sprayer is the spray prime valve. Turn the valve horizontally for the spray position and vertically for the prime position. The pressure control knob allows you to control the spraying pressure, which is also displayed on the LCD display. The suction tube, the larger of the two, draws the paint into the system. This tube may differ depending on which Qtech model you have purchased. The smaller tube or priming tube is used for cleaning. Filtering the paint correctly is very important when spraying. All Qtex sprayers have a triple filtering system. The first filter is the suction filter. The second filter is the manifold filter. And the third is a pencil filter located in the handle of the gun. All Qtex sprayers come complete with a built-in toolbox, making it easier to store your filters, tips and wrenches. Assembling your Qtex sprayer couldn't be simpler. It practically comes assembled as it comes out of the box. The first step is to connect the textile spray hose to the sprayer at the fluid outlet. Now connect the other end of the hose to the spray gun. You will need two 19mm open-end spanners and make sure the connections are tight. Now unscrew the tip guard assembly from the spray gun. Make sure that the power switch is off. Turn the spray prime valve to the vertical position and make sure the pressure control knob is turned completely to the left. This is the off position or minimum pressure. Now go ahead and plug the sprayer into the correct electrical power supply. Make sure the plug is fully inserted. Well, that's it for the assembly. Because your sprayer is brand new, we recommend flushing it through with water first. Make sure to put on your safety glasses before starting. Depending on which model of Qtex sprayer you have purchased, submerge the suction and cleaning tubes into a bucket of clean water. 
Make sure you add a small amount of Q-Tech pump conditioner before starting. Once the suction tube is fully submerged in water, turn the power switch to the on position and then turn the pressure control knob right until the pump starts to operate. Let the water flow through the prime tube for about 30 seconds or so and then turn the pressure control knob back to the left and stop the pump operating. If you haven't done so already, stir your paint and make sure it's ready for spraying. Now, take the suction tube out of the water and let the water drain out of the suction tube. Resubmerge the suction tube into the new tin of paint. Turn the power switch on. Now turn the pressure control knob to the right and start the pump operating. When paint comes out of the prime tube, release the safety trigger catch on the spray gun and squeeze the trigger. Keep the trigger squeezed whilst turning the spray prime valve to the horizontal spray position. Be sure to keep the trigger squeezed during this time. Continue squeezing the trigger until you see paint coming out of the gun. At this point, turn the gun safety trigger catch on so that the trigger cannot be accidentally squeezed. Now it's time to install the tip and tip guard back onto the gun. Go ahead and screw the tip guard onto the gun. Insert the tip and tighten. Be sure that the arrow on the tip handle is pointing forward and that it is seated completely into the holder. The spray tip handle points forward when spraying and can be turned backward for unclogging the tip. Never put your hand in front of the tip and never point the gun at yourself or at anybody else. High pressure paint can pierce the skin and cause major injury. The spray system hose and gun are now loaded with paint and ready to start spraying. Before you start spraying, if you do not have a lot of experience, it's best to start on large flat areas. There are several techniques you can use to ensure a quality finish. Use some scraps of cardboard to test the quality of the spray pattern. Start at the minimum spray pressure, like this, and slowly increase the pressure until a good spray pattern is achieved, like this. Spraying at the lowest pressure possible, while still getting a good spray pattern, will save wear and tear on your pump and spray tip. Your spray gun should be held at approximately 10 to 12 inches from the surface and aim straight at the surface like this. Keep the gun at a constant distance from the surface. Don't spray at an angle and keep the spray gun square to the surface. Work in sections only as far as you can comfortably reach. Trigger the spray gun at the beginning of each spray pass and at the end of each pass. Point the spray gun at the edge of the previous pass so that spray pattern is actually overlapping the previous spray pass. Your arm should be moving before and after you trigger the gun. With a little practice, this easy to use Q-Tex sprayer will have you spraying like a pro in no time at all. Remember, hold the gun straight and square to the surface. Have the spray gun moving before and after you trigger the gun. Move at a consistent speed and, when spraying, overlap the previous pass by 50%. When you have finished spraying, there's always cleaning up to do. But with Q-Tech sprayers, this is easier than you think. For shutdown and cleaning, when using water-based materials, turn the pressure control knob to the left and very slowly turn the spray prime valve back to the prime position to relieve the pressure in the system. Then, turn the power switch to the off position. Always make sure the safety trigger catch on the gun is on. Place the suction tube into a bucket of clean water and the prime tube back into the tin of paint. Now unscrew the tip guard assembly from the spray gun. Next, 
turn the power switch to on. Turn the pressure control knob right to start the pump operating. When water starts coming through the prime tube, release the safety trigger catch on the spray gun and squeeze the trigger pointing the gun into the tin of paint. When water comes out of the spray gun, move the gun across to the waste bucket, keeping the trigger squeezed until relatively clean water comes out. Keeping the spray gun trigger squeezed, turn the spray prime valve to the prime position slowly to release the pressure in the system. Then release the trigger on the spray gun and turn the safety trigger catch on. Next, turn the power switch off. Now remove the manifold filter, suction filter and spray gun pencil filter and repeat the flushing process without the filters. Clean the filters in water separately. The sprayer is now clean. Reinstall the manifold filter, suction filter and spray gun pencil filter as shown. Now that your sprayer is clean, you'll want to prepare it for storage. To protect the sprayer, use the Q conditioner, which can be purchased at your local q -Tech dealer. Place any tips, filters and spanners into the toolbox located on the top of the sprayer. Place a small clear bag over the suction tube to catch any drips. Coil up the hose and unplug and wrap the power cord around the handle. And that's it. Your sprayer is clean and ready for storage.